Hey, that when I did that video today, when people insulted me when I spoke about UK living with a child is not easy. People really spoke their minds to me. I was like, hey, you can't just go and just be open your legs to people. Have you now go and eat? Go and eat. Hi guys. Hey, it's been months since I dropped a video. Hmm. The chronicles of my life, you know, me Oh my goodness. <laughs> see, see my scalp. It's more than like, yeah, they know you're around there. Eh? Yeah, Vimna is around. She's around. She's in. <laughs> How finally Vimna is asleep, guys. Oh my god. Vimna can be a ton in the flesh. Oh my goodness. I just have to stop everything and put her to bed and come and shit again. Mm. Hmm. She's asleep and uh so today's Sunday and I have a wedding to attend. So I'm done taking my bath. All that I have to do is to just iron my dress, get my hair done. Do a little bit of makeup and uh, off we go. You guys, so let me show you guys what I'll be wearing real quick and uh, I'll just go and dress and get back to you guys, okay? So I'll be putting on my <laughs> green coat with a black dress, black street dress, side pleated or side what? Side cut or what? <laughs> side cut black dress with a little of some small design. Be let me give you a details. Some small design happening here. <laughs> yeah, it's off shoulder, off shoulder black dress. Yeah, that's how it looks. Yeah, then my boots and my tights. She Charlie, it you wear tights. <laughs> it's funny. Oh god, I'm wearing tights. This is so funny. Hi guys, so I am done. Yeah, so this is how I look. <laughs> My baby mama fat is all gone on. Actually, I've reduced all. I look so slim. Oh, I look sexy. <laughs> if baby now wasn't just leave, guys. Now come to me now, do you? I can't do all this makeup. Baby now will be disturbing me. If I take this, she wants to do something. If I think, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> See, if you have a baby, eh? Babies, eh? Like, you should take over your life. <laughs> you know, time for yourself. No? Yeah. Talking about baby now, guys. Hmm. So someone will ask, where did baby now go? And who did she go and stay with? So, guys, let me just put on my jacket. That's a jacket. I always say jacket. Let me put on my coat and uh, come and talk to you guys, okay? And give you the rundown and everything. Hey, that when I did that video today, when people insulted me. Hmm. We'll talk about that once. Okay? Let me bring my coat to wear and give you a final glance of how I look. And then we talk. We need to talk. We need to talk. Uh huh. So I can talk now. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so when I did that video, that's um when I spoke about UK living with a child is not easy. <laughs> I did this video and people really spoke their minds to me. I was like, hey. I remember one comment there. Eh? It says you can't just go and just be open your legs to people. I was like, oh, hey. Wait it. Wait. Wait. Do you know me? Hey, people spoke their mind. So the purpose of that video eh, is basically um tell people who are relocating if you have a kid best for you to either leave the kids back home because where you're going, you don't really know the place, you don't know how the system works. So it would be best to leave the kids back home if you have someone to take care of the kids, if you have someone to nurture the kids well. Where the world is moving, eh? Hey, if you don't have someone who can install like um the fear of God in your children, eh? Forget. <laughs> your children will, will grow a mess. <laughs> Let me just say that. Yes, yeah, so that's basically why I did that video to educate you if, whether you, if you want to relocate with your children or you come and you come to the place, you relocate alone, you come and find your feet, you can navigate very well and you know how to go to the system or then you bring your kids that's basically that but when you are filing your document you have to state that you have kids so that in case the time you are going to take your kids it won't be any problem so that's basically that so where did baby now go yeah so i needed a job and with baby now i can't go and do the job i went for i went for i wanted to send her to school so i took her to the i went for the forms hey and the money they were requesting, I was like, they said, what, £10 a, a week? I said, £10 a, an hour. 
they said 10 pounds an hour and i was like oh my god 10 pounds an hour i'm not working it's only me that was working by then i was like i'm not working how can we do all this thing? because one we have rent to pay we have to feed baby now we have to feed ourselves so how can we also pay because the winner is not entitled to anything for now so how can we pay her her school fees and also pay rent and buy food i was like no 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 no. i need to look for a job so god being so good i found a job and <laughs> so now it was very difficult for me to attend go to the work because we didn't know um Nisi Kettle because Nisi was also busy. So I spoke to a friend of mine who is Claudia. Ah, Charlie, one of my best friends. <laughs> hey, so I always say, hey, AJ, well, another friend. Oh, yes, another friend. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I spoke to her and um, she, she introduced me to her sister who is a child minder. So uh, the first day I spoke to her sister, oh my God, guys. I literally fell in love with her sister. I became her sister's sister. Hey, it's like God being so good, eh? Do you know something? God being so good, baby na and her, and that lady's birthday is the same day. I spoke to this lady. I told her everything, and she was, "Ha, ah, don't worry. Bring your, bring your child." She did not take a single dime from me. Not even a penny. She took care of baby na for one month. She didn't take anything from me, nothing, nothing from me. She didn't take a pin, a pin from me. And I was like, you see what God can do? When we say what God can do does not exist, eh? please don't, don't joke with that statement. Don't joke with that phrase. Hey, Gloria, God bless you. Claudia, to God bless you. Because you guys, you guys, you guys showed me love. You show me that sisters are not only blood. You can just speak to someone or meet someone a day and the person becomes your sister. And hey, God bless you, okay? <laughs> so, guys, <laughs> don't find anything. When Bibina came back, Bibina spent one month and she came back. So, but when she came back, guys, the English Bibina was speaking, eh? Oh, will blow your mind. The accent. I came like, now, mommy, mommy, I want to eat kinky. I was like, hey, if you want kinky, kinky. <laughs> Baby now does not like breast milk anymore. Hey, when she came, I just placed my breast in her mouth. She was just looking at me like this. And she was like, she just looked at me. And she would laugh and laugh and laugh. Just look at me and be laughing, though. She would, she doesn't like, she's like, she just look at me like, like, ah, mommy, we can't do <laughs> Baby that doesn't like breast milk. Now she's independent. She just climb her bed and be like, Mommy, I'm going to sleep on my bed. When she's hungry, tell her, Mommy, I want to eat. Baby that can eat well. That she eats anything. And when she went to Gloria's place, she gained weight though. Can you imagine? And I'm going to drink it in the because I was really finding it difficult to take Bibina off the breast. Sometimes, so if she's disturbing, I just give it to her because I just need my peace of mind and bear any stress we have you. <laughs> so, guys, yeah, let me just go for the wedding because it's time for the wedding. I have to rush and go to the wedding. So, let me just go. I'm in black. You can imagine if I'm wearing black to someone's wedding in Ghana. The way they will talk, the way they will talk. Just give you a full glance of how I look, okay? Then, catch you guys, little Earth. I'll get a...